I should lose some weight and um, but it never really bothered me you know I never had a problem getting a man just saying <laughs> um, I never had a problem finding a man um, having a boyfriend um, I was never uh, a one night stand type, one night stand type of girl you know how they say that big girls tend to be easy because they have to settle or because they, you know, no. I always had good men in my life. The men that I have history with were decent men, um, were steady relationships. So that was never an issue for me. Anywho, the point is that being overweight never, never bothered me or uh, stopped me from being great.
problems here. And when you start having problems here, and you start seeing yourself without love, now we have a very big problem. Very big problem. Because now I'm not happy. And when you're not happy, no one else around you will ever be happy nor will you ever make anyone else happy. And I realized that. So, when I felt like that, um, you know, I said to myself, I can't continue feeling like that. And as time passed, if I felt worse and worse and worse, time passed and I felt worse and worse and worse. So, one day, I was watching TV, and, um, you know, I'm a believer in God. I respect everybody's views, but I'm a big believer in God. My life revolves in believing in God, and I believe in God before anything. So, I believe that God put this in my path as a sign. I was watching TV, which by the way, I don't watch TV much. If I'm ever watching something, it's got to be really, really, really good. And this doctor came up talking about weight loss surgery, which I've heard about in the past. But when he was talking about weight loss surgery and who is the right candidate or the right person for weight loss surgery, guys, I promise you this man was talking to me. He was talking about he was literally talking about me and it blew my mind. I'm like, this man is talking about me. Like, how the hell? Like, like everything he said was directed to me. Like, every single thing he described was describing me. So, as I listened, I'm thinking, God, is this a sign from you? Open doors, my Lord, open doors and let me move on with whatever it is you're trying to tell me. Time passed. Oh, and then in that interview or in that report or whatever I was watching, he mentioned that he accepts insurance, medical insurance, which I'm blessed enough to have through my husband's job. So, the first thing he said that you should always do is find out if your insurance covers weight loss surgery um, so that's the first thing I found out. I called the insurance company and I said, listen, do you guys do this, 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 and that? And sure enough, they said, yes, these are the requirements and this is the things you have to meet. I met everything, everything. I had to be, you had to have a BMI of over, of over 40, I think it was. I had a BMI of 50 something, 53, 54, I think even 56, I don't remember. So, I said, you know what, I can do this. Well, I mentioned it to my husband, and my husband had a big problem with it. He was totally against it. He was like, you are crazy. I do not support your choice, your decision. I think you can, you know, get healthy by exercise and eating healthier and, you know, and guys, Honestly, even though I was always happy with myself, I was always overweight, but I was always trying to diet. You know, I was always on some freaking kind of diet. People ask me, what diets have you done? But no, 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 no. The question is, what diet have I not done? I've tried everything. I've done everything. I promise you, Raps. I've done everything, Jim. I've done everything you can think of. I promise. And everything worked. Everything worked. Up until I stopped doing whatever I was doing. And then I gained a freaking weight back. Probably double, if not more. So, the reason why that wasn't working is because this wasn't changing. I was, I was just doing the stuff I was required to do, but this wasn't changing. Anyway, so, my husband was totally against it. I was unhappy. I 
was miserable. And so everybody around me was miserable because I was miserable. So I said, you know what? One day I said, you know what? I'm going to move forward with my decision regardless of who thinks what. My parents weren't too happy with my decision either. Guys, by the way, I'm drinking a keto drink. I forgot to mention. And how do you guys like my cup? It's um, a mom uh, cup that my daughters made for me last year for Mother's Day. Isn't it adorable? This keto drink um, consists of, um, what is it, vodka and um, St. Croix flavored um, like salsa water. I am going to start a, I started a um, Fat to Fit Beauty channel. I'm going to leave, leave that channel's um, link down below. I've already started the channel. I haven't uploaded anything yet though. Um, but the channel is there. I, it's been almost a year that I already did it. So if you're interested, because I'm going to start sharing a lot of everything that's related to my weight loss and um, uh, my maintenance on that channel. And it's fat to fit beauty, but because it's so new or barely, I have nothing, no content on there. It might be a little difficult for you to find it under the name. So I'll leave the link on the description bar. So click on the link and subscribe to the channel because very soon I have older content already for the channel. It's just I haven't uploaded it yet. So subscribe to the channel if you're interested in anything that's related to uh, everything of my weight loss journey because I have videos, I have everything, and everything that, that I do to lose weight and maintain my weight. It's been three years, guys. It's been three years. Anyway, let's move on to the story. Let me just take a sip because mom was getting a little dry, you know? It came to a point where I would 
you know, my husband would look for me to get intimate, and I'd be like, how the hell does this man want me? Again, this is very dangerous. I'd be like, how the hell does this man want me? I look horrible. How can he want me? And I'd be like, stop. I want to go to sleep. Or like, I'd do whatever it takes to like avoid, because I'd be like,
Thank you.